Hey, hello, Rob here. In today's video, I will show you my top five free media players you can get today. So let's jump right in. The first player on my list is Gone Player. Gone Player is a popular media player from South Korea. This is the official website. And when you go to the website, you will get an ad. Over here, you will find software, Gone Player Plus and Gone Player. The plus version is the paid version. It uh, has a bit more features and you have to pay for it. It has unlimited play without ads, high resolution support, 360 degree, and some other features. But when you want to go to your free version, go to Com Player, you go down. It has 360 support. It has a couple of features missing. And over here you see the downloads. It supports Windows, Mac OS, Android and iOS. So you can easily download it. And after installation, it looks like this. The things that I found on the cons list is ads in the free version, the bundled software that comes along with when you install it. So be careful with that. I do have some privacy concerns. So that's uh, Gone Player in number five. Let's go to the next one. The next one on my list is MPC HC, which stands for Media Player Classic Home Cinema. It's extremely lightweight. It's open source for Windows only, and it supports all common audio and video formats. It has no spyware, no advertisement or toolbars. Problem with this software is it ceased development since 2017. However, because it's open source, somebody else, one of the older developers, updated it recently. And you can download it on GitHub. A couple of things I want to mention is it supports Windows only. It's extremely lightweight, fast startup, plays most formats, no ads or toolbars. Just basically a no-nonsense player. Over here, you have the downloads. And after you install it, it looks like this. A clean, simple interface that runs on basically anything and everything. This is the 64-bit version, but like you can see, you have 64 bits and you have the older versions. Let's have a look at the next one. The next one on my list is PodPlayer. PodPlayer is developed by a South Korean company. PodPlayer is Windows only. They have a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. They run back all the way to Windows 7 up to 11. A couple of things that stand out is enhanced hardware acceleration. So that's a nice thing to have. It supports various types of 3D glasses. So that's an interesting feature to have. On my pro list, I have an excellent performance, high quality playback, built-in codecs, 360 video support, and continuous updates. On my con list, I have a Windows only. It's a bit overwhelming for beginners. The default skin is dated and no media server functionality. After you download it, you can install it. Install additional codecs. Yes, please run Pop player. And this is what it looks like. The next one on my list is KM player. KM player supports multiple platforms like Windows 32, 64 and other platforms. And when I go to, let's say the 64 bit version, you see you see it supports up to 8K video. That could be an interesting thing to have, especially when you record yourself in 8K. KM Player 64-bit is free. If you can, buy them a coffee. I mean, they need some support, right? They have a list of key features. It's free download with no ads, free media player, no advertisement, no spyware, no user tracking. That's important. Plays all video files, and it has a lot of other extra features. Over here you see the recommended OS. That's 64-bit Windows 10 or 11. But it supports all the way back to Windows Vista. Here you see the video formats, audio formats. Well, there, there, there's a lot in it. It's a really interesting piece of software. You can download it. And when you install it, you will notice it says 100% freeware, supports 40 languages. Next, next. No additional software that you have to install, like no, no. And that's the way it looks. It's quite interesting piece of software and I, uh, I enjoy it. 
En in de number one spot op mijn list is de VLC Media Player. VLC Media Player is een open source cross-platform multimedia player. It can do it all on everything. Windows, 64-bit, macOS, Linux, Android. Do you have another system? It works. On my pro list it says, no extra codecs needed. It's highly customizable. It's open source. It's completely free and safe. Hardware decoding so it uses your GPU for playback. Subtitle synchronization. And there is a portable version. And on my con list it says data interface. And this is what it looks like. It's my number one player. I really, really, really enjoy this player and I've been using it for many, 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 many years. So this was my top five free media player list and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful or have a question or suggestions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button to help the channel out, share with a friend and subscribe for more tech tips. See you in the next one. Bye bye.